Security officials are conducting raids throughout Brussels linked to this week's bombings, including a suspected new plot in France. On Belgium's last official day of mourning, thousands of people gathered to lay flowers, raise the national flag, and release balloons at an evening vigil. Secretary of State John Kerry paid his respects and laid a wreath at the airport. And during a raid yesterday, police shot a man in the leg who they say was carrying a suspicious package at a Brussels tram stop. Now, authorities are searching for even more terrorists connected to the Belgium attacks. As the days pass after the fatal suicide bombings, the memorial for the more than 30 people killed grows, and Belgians struggle to get back to normal. It's going better, really, day after day. An arrest in France has led to raids throughout Brussels. French police thwarted a potential disaster when they arrested Rita Cricket. The man from the same Belgian town as many of the Paris attackers was allegedly in the advanced stages of planning another attack. His capture creating a domino effect on arrests in Brussels. Raids have netted six suspects, including this man on Friday. He was found at a train station with a suspicious package, shot in the leg and arrested. Still more suspects are at large considered armed and dangerous. Officials say Naeem Alhamed played a key role in the attacks. His DNA was reportedly found in one of the bomb-making factories uncovered in Belgium. Two men connected with the airport and metro bombings are out there as well. They were last seen standing alongside the ISIS attackers before the explosions. America has made some strides against ISIS, the group that claimed responsibility for the attacks. An airstrike over Syria has killed a top official in the ISIS leadership. Now we've taken out the leader who oversees all the funding for ISIL's operations, hurting their ability to pay fighters and hire recruits. Back in Brussels, as the official days of mourning have now come to an end, Belgians are adjusting to a new outlook under a heightened terror alert. We all know that uh, we're not safe anywhere. It can happen anywhere and at any moment. And we've just learned Belgian prosecutors have issued an arrest warrant for one of the suspects. In a statement released today, the man is identified only as Fekal C. He is possibly the man seen fleeing Brussels airport after two accomplices blew themselves up.